Alright, welcome back to another edition of the Freeport Connection with Tommy. Okay, this is going to be about your spoilers for tonight's Raw. And some other WWE news. And what have you. Former WWF and other upcoming wrestler updates. Uh, uh, from an indie fed, Gastonia. At Forest View High School gym uh, for Southern Heritage Championship Wrestling, uh, let's see George South uh, Senior and Rex Rumble defeated John Collins and Johnny Smooth. When Collins turned on his tag team partner Smooth, the Sheik Bullard de uh, de defeated Mr. Florida. Laura Lee Lee defeated Tracy Brooks from TNA. SHCW Hardcore Champion Lodi from WCW. Defeated C.W. Anderson, formerly of ECW, in an Extreme Rules match. Jeff Lewis defeated Ric Flair's son, Reed Flair, and became the first SHCW World Heavyweight Champion. Former WWE, uh, WWE WWF uh, star Eugene Dinsmore and Buzz defeated Powers of Pain, former, uh, formerly of uh, WWF, by disqualification. And former WWE, WWF, and former TNA star, Brian Road Dog, uh, Jesse James, defeated for former WWE star, Trevor Murdoch. <coughs> there was wrestling school called a fire over the weekend. Uh, they're investigating ar uh, arson issues uh, from Staten Island, WABC TV. Fire marshals are investigating a suspicious fire at a wrestling school in Staten Island. Authorities believe someone broke into the Warriors of Wrestling Center on Van Street in New Brighton Thursday morning and torched it. The facility is not only a school. Wrestling matches for charity are also held there as well. And uh, there was a, if you have any news on this, uh, you can... Uh, 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 and the fire damage is uh, estimated to about five hundred thousand dollars. Copyright of WABC dash TV dash DT. All rights reserved. So if you have any any news on that, well, <laughs> contact the police department there in Staten Island. Okay, former WWE and now T uh, recent TNA star Kurt Angle used the RKO on Jeff Jarrett during the two out of three falls match at T uh, the TNA lockdown last night, and then went on Twitter to comment using the maneuver, writing to Orton. It says, "Quote Orton, I used your finish as a, si a sign of respect. Now to get back to you, or not to get back to you, respect." Unquote. Angle had, had uh, continued to call out Orton. He, he added the following this afternoon to Randy Orton. As you said, imitation is a form of flattery. Know that I did that out of respect. And God bless. Unquote. Matt Hardy claimed to be injured last night. Well, he uh, just said he was hurting this morning. Well, of course you're going to hurt after falling off of a steel cage. <coughs> Okay, he, because uh, he said on uh, Matt Hardy said on Twitter last night, uh, following the lockdown pay per view, that he may have fractured his arm during the lethal lockdown match, as he did the tw uh, the twist of hate on Daniels on top of the steel cage and then f fell off the cage. Okay, and that was during the uh, lethal lockdown main event match. He posted an update this morning, writing, "Wow." Talk about being sore when you wake up. My back and arm are killing me. I'm sure flying this morning will help. Ha ha ha. Unquote. Hardy's claim, however, appears false as PWInsider.com reported. Mike Johnson says that everyone he spoke to in TNA says that that, is, that was not the case. Former DX member Sean Waltman returned to his old 123Kid gimmick as promised. Uh, earlier this month at the Chakara King of the Trio tournament this past weekend. To keep with the, uh, with the nostalgia, Kid wrestled former WWE star 
Jensei Hakushi Shinzaki in one of the tournament matches. There is a a new FCW Diva that was introduced in developmental this, this past Thursday night as her name is Irina Janjic, a recent signee from Lance Storm Wrestling School in Canada. I uh, noted a few months back that uh, WWE was planning a new Edge DVD for the November of this year. Word is that since the news of his sudden retirement, they decided to change the format of the, t of the DVD. The title for tonight's episode of Tough Enough is is bad day, real bad day, <coughs> according to the TV Guide. Not only will Big Show be appearing on tonight's show, but former WWE diva Stacey Keeper as well will also be making a, an appearance. Former WWE star Zach Gowan was at the Detroit Music Awards this past weekend. He was spotted in the audience. National Geographic's uh, Nate Go will be filming footage at Evolve's in internet pay-per-view Tapings this Tuesday night in New York City. They are filming for an upcoming story on independent pro wrestling or pro wrestlers trying to make it in, in the business. Similar to Tough Enough. Okay, uh, WWE Champion The Miz will, uh, will be throwing out the first pitch at tonight's Dodgers Stadium in uh, Los Angeles as the Dodgers take on the Giants May 18th at 7 p.m. Yep, 7 p.m. So, I doubt if he'll be on Raw tonight since they got the Dodger game. Readers uh, note that Sin Cara is still using his springboard entrance on the current WWE tour in Europe. There was talk that WWE officials would stop him from doing the entrance after last week's Raw. Well, he didn't. He didn't do it because he was also on an old SmackDown as well. A change to Extreme Rules spoiler tonight on Raw. Uh, unfortunately, our truth has been taken out of, of the match of the Triple Threat, and, and John Morrison has been put in. They had a match during Raw, and Morrison won. At the Monday Night uh, Raw tapings this afternoon, that was in all, London, England, John Morrison defeated our truth to take his spot in the WWE Championship main event at Extreme Rules pay per view. So it will now be Miz versus Cena versus Morrison. Lake Charles, Louisiana has SmackDown Live event scheduled for May 14, 2011. There's no events anywhere planned as of yet uh, for the month of September 2nd through, through, uh, through the October Hell in a Cell pay-per-view that is held in New Orleans, Louisiana. And of course, nothing is scheduled for November as well. Hell is held, like I said, a Hell in a Cell pay-per-view is October the 2nd, one day after my birthday, October 1st. And it's going to be held at 6, uh, open the doors at 6.45, being, I don't know if it's impossible, because the pay-per-view starts at 7 p.m. Okay. Following matches were taped tonight for the o for, at the O2 Arena in, in London, England, for this week's episode of Superstars. Maurice versus Natalia, Mark Henry versus Ted DiBiase, WWE.com has added, added Jack Carpella to the SmackDown roster page. In addition to counting down WWE pay-per-view events on the free-for-all, Corpella calls the SmackDown brand matches on Superstars, which is basically one match. And a dark match uh, on tonight's Raw was Percy Watson defeating Primo. Again. Same as last week. And the Raw results are spoilers from tonight. Jerry King Lawler and Jim Ross came out to the ring to a huge pop. Michael Cole got a ton of hill heat and quickly made his way to the coal mine. Somehow, uh, there's some knighthood that he does tonight. Uh, okay. Our truth came out first to begin the show. The show start, uh, the crowd started off booing him, but they calmed down. Truth said he's going, going to win his first WWE Championship at Extreme Rules and will be a fighting champion. Q. John Morrison's visit, who came out and said, Truth got lucky last week, and he he had help in beating him. Morrison challenged Truth to a match with his spot in the Extreme Rules Triple Threat WWE title match on the line. Morrison defeated Truth by pinfall after hitting Starship Payne, and is now in the title spot at Extreme Rules. Replacing R-Truth after the match, Truth attacked Morrison at ringside. 
Archer has grabbed a cigarette from a fan and started smoking it. So I guess he, I guess our truth is turning heel. Paul Ziegler with Vicky Guerrero defeated Evan Bourne. Vicky got got the loudest reaction from the crowd yet. Coming out to a thunderous <coughs> thunderous round of booze. The finish came when Evan Bourne went for the uh, shooting star press, called an audible midway and, and landed on his feet. Ziegler nailed him with a zigzag for the pin. Correspondent said it was a great spot. V uh, a video tribute was aired from, uh, for Edge, and it was announced that Alberto Del Rio will host a retirement party for Edge this coming Friday on SmackDown. WWE Champion Miz actually came out, so I don't know. Is it, can, he, can he make it two places at once? And talked about John Morrison replacing our truth in the triple that match at Extreme Rules on, on May 1st. The Miz re then reveal that the match will will be held inside a steel cage. But duh, wouldn't be extreme rules. Miz sat on, on a, sat on a chair in the middle of the ring and started running down London. Sent cars music hit and it interrupted Miz. John Cena's as well he as well came out to a very mixed reaction. Raw GM manager booked Sin Cara and John Cena versus. Miz and Riley for tonight, just like they did for the, over the weekend for the London tour. But now they got it on TV. Well, okay. John Cena and Sankara defeated Alex Riley and the Miz. Miz left Riley alone again at the end of the match. Sankara hit Riley with a move off the top, and Cena hit, hit him with an attitude adjustment for the pin. Edge will be at SmackDown in person this Friday. Uh, Edge defeated Nikki Bella. Uh, uh, not Edge. Eve defeated Nick, uh, Nikki Bella. So I get, uh, Brie Bella is the women's champion. Uh, Michael Cole announces that tonight he is going to be crowned King Cole. Old King Cole, a uh, mighty of soul. Well, he ain't that mighty. <laughs> As Cole is knighted, uh, he demands Jerry the King Lawler and Jim Ross to kiss his feet. Swagger uh, uh, came down. Swagger down Lawler and Ross. Forces them to do it. Sir Michael Cole leaves the ring. Still come tonight, your main event, seeing Punk versus Randy Orton. Michael Cole returns to the coal mine and Josh Matthews joins him on commentary. If you didn't know, Michael Cole is being trained to speak by Josh Matthews. Okay. Famous defeated Santino with a broke kick. After the match, Santino looked very beat up. And was assisted by the by medical personnel. In your main event, Randy Orton defeated CM Punk. Nexus was banned from ringside, as noted from the Raw GM or or something similar to that, because it was announced on WWE.com that they were banned. After the match, Nexus hit the ring and beat down Orton. Punk tried to put Orton in the head, to put Orton in the head, but Orton moved and. Then he nailed Punk with RKO. With an RKO, Orton escaped the ring and headed up the ramp. Nexus argued in the ring, leaving Punk all alone. And that ended your your Monday Night Raw. Uh, uh, other news is uh, WAB announces the uh, 2011 WWE Draft takes place next Monday on Raw, April 25th. Entire rosters of the WWE Superstars and Divas will take part in the 2011 WWE Draft next week, April 25th on Monday Night Raw, live on the USA Network, 9, cent, uh, 9 Eastern, 8 Central. In a thrilling night of television, all WWE Superstars and, and Divas, including WWE Champion The Miz, John Cena, Randy Orton, Rey Mysterio, Big Show, Alberto Del Rio, and Sankara, along with the Divas Champion Brie Bella, Eve, Kelly Kelly, could be drafted to either Raw or SmackDown. And if this is true, are they going to keep the belts this time or strip them like they did Bobby Lashley when he was the ECW champion and went, went to Raw? Okay, after Monday night's uh, momentous draft, John Cena could be on Friday Night SmackDown, which airs each week on Sci Fi at 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, and, and Ray Mysterio could be coming to Monday Night Raw. 
annual WWE draft, he has a chance to renew old rivalries and have WWE superstars face off against each other for the very first time, bringing a new and fresh feel to each show, and it's a possibility of all Nexus being back together again. We got Straight Edge Nexus versus Punk uh, uh, versus uh, uh, the Core. Season five of NXT. A possible spoiler: Road, uh, Road Warrior Animal might be a uh, possible uh, mentor to, to one of the, the future stars. And he's uh, quoted uh, on uh, MainEventRadio.com yesterday. And here are some of the highlights. Going into the comments on going into the WWE Hall of Fame. I got the call about a month ago before uh, we got inducted. First thought was it's about it's uh, it's about time. I figured I would go in sooner or later. <coughs> For whatever reason, they waited until now. It was cool. It was still a special night. It was definitely 100% red carpet treatment. WWE knows how to put on the event and take care of the guys. Vince said to us in the, in the meetings that it's our night and it's them celebrating us. And that's what we did. Uh, he comments about the Hulk Factor figure being used at the uh, Hall of Fame induction was uh, originally uh, Paul Ellering's idea. He didn't know he was going to do it. I had no idea he had it in his pocket. I think my brother or my daughter ended up with it somehow. I got the whole, whole box of the damn figure. Uh, we had about 10 different sets of action figures over the years. Started with the Remco in the AWA years ago. And he talks about his feature with WWE. And here's what he had to say about it. Quote, while I was there, I, did, I had quite a few meetings with different guys. I found out that I'm on the next four video games. They must be wanting to do something with me. I'm also going to be hosting house shows in May up in Canada and in South Dakota. I'm hosting one in Winnipeg, one in, in, in Toronto, and one in Two Falls. <coughs> the guest host, guest hosting will go on all month, should it go well. I was supposed to be a part of another show, but then it got canceled, so I can't talk about it. And then they want me to be a mentor for one of the new guys. Not your typical manager role. It's going to be the. It's going to be five legends or Hall of Famers that are mentoring five other guys. I don't know what it is. They told me. That's the idea that they told me. So that's what I have, and that's what they have. Let me know if it's uh, going to happen, because you know everything is subject to change. NXT season five. I had a blast down in FCW. I got to teach some of the new guys, such such as Mason Ryan, how how to work a little a big man like a big man. I'm a coach at heart. I always coached football, baseball, and tried to coach hockey with my kids. And that ends my results and spoilers for tonight's WWE Raw uh, superstars. I know the matches wasn't. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Uh, finished or, or reported correctly for the Superstars taping because there was no results. All they said is uh, these were the matches. Thanks for viewing, but I will give the full results tomorrow night's SmackDown report and your full Superstars.